Ignatius487 here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3, number 3. Can we talk to this guy? A moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert, Rupert Martin. Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Indeed. Word on the moat. They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I, I am glad it. to be away from it. The city <coughs> grows more dangerous key. by the day. He wouldn't give it to us. So we went over there and we stabbed him in the face. Well, not in the face. It was in the back. You know. Stabbed him. Right. Got the key. Now we're off. It's too bleh. <coughs> Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you, you have a beard? Aboard the ship, Very nice or are beard. You simply taking passage. A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. Where is your barrel of we lives? We have found that the sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover no. why that is. Well, I hope you Where are, are successful. Where are your barrel of limes? As do I. Thank you for the kind words. You see, ships like this frequently would carry barrels of limes to help stave off scurvy. Because scurvy is a very bad thing. Lack of, well, <coughs> you know. What is this? Hello? Wanna play a game? Fanora. Fanorona. Nine row. Pieces. Capture all the opponent pieces. Okay. Do I want to play first? Uh, yes, I do. <coughs> sure. Wait, what? Okay. So, we'll put a piece there. So, that will have us take those two pieces. Aha. Uh -huh. What? Did you get two, two moves? How weird is that? Continue removing your opponent's pieces until there are no more possible moves. Oh, so, like, right there? Is that the deal? Oh man, I'm tearing this guy up. Is that it? I <laughs> just wow. Take 
Just take both of them? Yeah. Very nice. Two of them. Drat. Oh, hey. Yeah. One, two, three. Owned. Well, maybe not owned, but definitely tore him up a bit. Jerk face. Aha. I can really move, I guess, is this one. There come a point where you have to concede victory, or failure, rather. When no capturing move is possible, move any piece to an adjacent There. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. We're gonna pop it up right there. Oh no, that's bad. I just lost a piece in a uh, bollocks. I wasn't thinking that one through. Moved it over there. Yeah. What? No. Oh. Well, that was dumb. Okay. I will forfeit the game. Yes. Thank you. There's no way that I could win that. Cool. We'll never play that again. Just so you know. It's arbitrary. There's no point in doing it. Other than for monies. Is this another is this the same game? Nine men's Morris. Leave the opponent less than three pieces and or block. What okay. Nice. Uh why not? Use the piece selector to place pieces on empty slides. Gotcha. We'll play a piece there. Uh, there. Is that is that how this works? Four mills by lining up three of your pieces to eliminate one of your opponent's pieces. <gasps> oh. Okay. That's fair. Piece right there. Yeah. I 
How about them apples? I want to get one row. Oh, yes. Oh, oh I can remove a piece. Right. Mm, right there? I guess that's a good piece to move to, to, to knock out. Got me there. Got you there. Yes, I did. Jerk. Fine. There's another piece here. Fine. Put a piece there. Oh, I know what you're going to do. No, don't do it. Oh. Oh. How did I lose? Oh, whatever. That's cool. We'll go up. If I can find the freaking... There it is. Cool, cool. Hello. Captain? Mr. Kenway. I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard. And apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Yes. Inconvenience would be an understatement. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. To be a jerk about it. Come on now. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? No. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for the Parnell. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. <sighs> Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Uh, we're going to fight. Stay out of this. Cool. It's B. Okay, so B is counting. Oh, it's B. Hold B. Give him a douse on the yacht. Oh, fight. No. Anoint him with the oil of gladness already. I want my money. Seriously, I, I can't fight. He's not letting me fight. Look at how he bumbles about. <laughs> Pathetic. Hold B to enter. Finish the hoity doody! <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I get it now. Listen to wow. this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. <laughs> Please, fast. Call this off. If the captain sees us... To hell us. with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? Come on. <laughs> I'm ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> How do you like these odds? Mr. Kenway, 
These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Loll about? A word, please, Mr. Kenway? Sure. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. Sure. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. Oh. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Oh. <laughs> Look, Not I, I don't the want captain, to argue. man. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only yeah, hope you only have hope of reaching America have. alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Uh, well, yeah. Excellent. We're good. Grazie. Good day. Oh, I'm not Italian anymore. I'm British, so it would be... Cheerio? I don't know. Something like that along those lines. I need to go upstairs. Wait, where's this person? Here we are. You, no. You stop that, right? Bloody. Okay. There we are. Hey. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. No need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence <laughs> is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. Sure. What do you say, brother? We're going back down. To our room. A journal entry. The year of our Lord, 1754. I've set off on a ship to America. I hope to meet a lovely lady and have a child. And to find the place where this key goes and take whatever's within the vault for the benefit of mankind and all that jazz, right? Day 28. Hmm. Have a bit of a headache. That's no good. Mr. Kenway. Yes. Captain. Is it, is it happening? Whatever yeah. they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I best get to work. <sighs> yes, yeah, very good. Oh wait, he's got our rations again. There's talky talky Please stuff here. It's not right that you should feast on land and wine. Must be upstairs. He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Oh, Keeps his face quiet. Here he comes. Okay, that's weird. Ah, I gotcha. So the first dude we need to talk to is this guy. You looking for another fight? That it? Not particularly. Go away. Even if they are always reaching. Lame. But okay. Hey. 
quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Yes. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. Hatham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Because of pirates. Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I agree with that. Can't be a douche, man. It's not, it's not good. I got nothing to say to you. That's hilarious. Hey. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Really? We'll go talk to this guy first. It's the dog, I think. A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken in? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain. You or the sound passengers. just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too she busy with busy. my research to notice anything not work related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Speak with James. That I was supposed to talk to in the first place? Hello. Are you James? Hi. Hatham Kenway. Hi. Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Not Follow here. me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? No. Some of the men have been gathering well, at maps on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is the they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but... There's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Thank you, James. You're very helpful sort of fellow. If I do say so myself. Oh, we're going to go on and talk to the captain, huh? Evening, sir. Evening. How are things? Calm and things quiet. Things spectacular. That's the way I like it. Yes. What brings you topside? Zubats. Thought I'd no, wander a bit. really. But, Stretch yeah. my legs. That's all. Say, so care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. Overboard? Why? But why? It's all explodey. Investigate the noise in the lower deck. No way! You talk to this. Is this the captain? Yes. You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight lipped bunch. But I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! Your quill thingy is rather shiny. And for that, or at that, we're out of time for this video. So until next time, Bumblebee Tuna.